Hey guys, it's Jailbreakist. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to mod your PSP slim or fat. Now, you guys are going to need two things for this. You're going to need a Pandora battery. Um, you can either make it or you can buy it online. I'll have a link for you guys. Um, and they're located in the U.S., not China, which is pretty good. And you're going to need a magic memory stick. You can also make this yourself or you could buy it um, online. Same link. Okay, so first thing you guys are going to need to do is you're going to need to have your original PSP battery, um, the one that came with your PSP, um, like fully charged. Have it like 100%, just to be safe. And you're also going to need to charge your Pandora battery. Um, so I think charge it a bit more than 78% um, minimum, I'd say. Um, you can charge it by turning on your PSP and then just putting it in and letting it charge. Okay, um, so let's get started. Um, so first of all, what you guys are going to need to do is you're just going to turn off your PSP. So hold the power button up until it turns off itself. Okay, don't just do that little quickie thing because um, you're going to need to do the full thing until it automatically turns off. So now you guys are going to need to remove your memory stick oops wrong side so remove your memory stick and you're going to put in your magic memory stick okay now you guys are going to need to take out your battery You can just leave the cover off when you put in your Pandora battery. And now you're going to need to put in your... Oh, I forgot something. You guys are going to need to hold down the L trigger while you put in your Pandora battery. So hold down your L trigger, as you can see, and you're going to put in your Pandora battery. So just place it in there. Okay, and your PSP will automatically turn on if you did this correctly. Okay, you'll get an interface that looks like this. It'll say install M33. I'm not sure if yours will say 401 exactly. And it will offer you to install um, original firmware. You guys are going to install the um, M33 one, the custom firmware. So you're going to press X. And it's going to start to mod your PSP. So this might take um, a bit of time, so I'm going to come back to you guys when it is done. Hey guys, I'm back. As you guys can see, my PSP is just about done um, modding itself. And when you're um, done, when it's done flashing, it'll give you an interface that should say shut down or reboot. What you guys are going to do is you're going to shut down. So for mine, it's O. I don't know about yours though. So shut down your PSP. And you're not quite done yet, though. There's still one more step you guys got to do in order to play, like, games and everything. So Okay, um, once your PSP re um, shuts down, you guys are going to need to do a second step, like I just said. So, what you guys are going to need to do, now your PSP is still off. You guys are going to remove your Pandora battery. And you're just going to put in your original PSP battery. And now what you guys are going to need to do is you're going to need to enter recovery mode. So, the, what you guys are going to do for this, um, um, you're going to need to um, hold the R trigger, and you're going to turn your PSP on. So you're holding, pressing those at the same time. And your PSP will reboot with this funky um, little um, screen. 
um, that is this is your recovery menu okay guys um, in your recovery menu you guys are gonna go down to configuration so to control this um, your options you're gonna use your um, arrows and you're gonna use X to like go into files so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into configuration X um, you're gonna see the first thing you're gonna um, do is you're gonna change hide corrupt icons to enabled okay um, now you guys are going to go down to where it says UMD mode and you're gonna change that to M33 driver no UMD and then you're gonna go back once you've done those and you're gonna go down to registry hacks it's the second last one you're gonna press X to go into it and you guys are gonna go down to the bottom to activate WMA X and you're gonna activate flash player X okay you're gonna press back once you've done that and then you're gonna go to exit and press X again and your PSP will reboot and just to prove it to you guys that I actually modded my PSP for all you skeptics out there um, I'll just show you that it's modded okay and as you guys can see I am running 4.01 M332 so um, congratulations guys um, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe